Nick. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Maggie Santola. And Maggie Santola is almost a Washington native, having lived in the area since she was five. She studied creative writing at Pacific Lutheran University in Tacoma and works as the marketing coordinator for a local architecture firm. Her work has appeared in Cranky Literary Journal, and she's going to read three poems. Thanks, Maria. My first poem is called St. Mark's Green Belt. The scattering of almost snow and whiskey on our breasts, you in high heels and the orangey dark city midnight make the trail behind St. Mark's Cathedral a treacherous thing. We stumble to the bottom, to a chicken wire footbridge, the quiet tumbling of a scrawny <clears throat> creek, our hazy hot breath, the back of your mittened hand against my mouth. My second poem is called Our Secret Road Trip. We left and didn't tell anyone. I forgot even to tell the cat. The rain covered our car in clouds of mist the whole way there. We wandered without knowing where we were going. We visited the library and took pictures of the old paintings on the wall. We ate at a sushi restaurant that smelled to me like soap, to you like Japan. We went to Powell's and made lists of things we wanted to read and felt the covers of blank journals. We went to a fancy new bar and a smoky dive bar, rented a cheap motel room and held hands under the covers, had pancakes Sunday morning. We came home and told our friends, last night we just watched a movie. And my last poem is called New Great Ideas at Real Life Prices. And it's a collage poem using parts of the Ikea catalog. <laughs> you do one part, I do one part. We do all we can to pretend this isn't fleeting. Your hand on my hip, mine on your neck. I won't even mention the hairpin that's not mine in the carpet. We tell ourselves it's well worth the effort, the freedom to change our bedroom whenever we change our mood. See how we keep disappointing each other, but putting a new spin on it, like this year's all new catalog. Thank you very much, Maggie, much appreciated.